didn't know there was like a perspective of a horse person in this book, but that's so cool. Look at this cute pie over here. Today, I'm gonna get a second tattoo. The most exciting thing is that the other bookmarks that I created have arrived. Before we are gonna get into this reading vlog, I wanna thank today's sponsor, which is Go Grateful. Go Grateful is a message-based gratitude journal designed to increase your happiness in just a few minutes. You can choose whether you receive a message in the morning, evening, or both, and you'll receive texts asking you what you are grateful for or how your day has been, and will store all of your entries privately onto your account. Personally, I think Go Grateful offers a great service, especially during the pandemic, because we all need to give a little bit more attention to our mental health. You can try out their service for free for seven days by going to gograteful.io or by clicking on the link in the description box down below. And now on to what I read these past couple of weeks. I am so bad at vlogging, yet here I am again deciding to make another reading vlog, <laughs> which is a bit of a shame because Alexi from Alexandra Roslin and I, we just had a super cute movie date together, which was so cute. Also, hi, I'm just like super randomly immediately starting this vlog, <laughs> but we just had a super cute movie date today and we watched My Neighbor Totoro and Oh my god, it was so wholesome and it was so amazing. And if I had decided a little earlier that I was gonna vlog, I would have been able to like show Lexi and her super cute like FaceTiming movie watching sessions. But I just made myself a nice cup of tea and I advise you to do that as well. I have a really nice biscuit. Um, so let me dip that in my tea. That's like my favorite snack. Cookies and then dipping it in tea is the best. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. I do this all the time when I'm eating something that I find delicious. I do a little dance because food makes me happy. <laughs> okay, so I came on here to tell you that I am gonna be finishing If I'm Being Honest by Emily Wibberly and Austin Siegman Broga. This is like an author, husband, wife duo, I believe, which is just so cute to think about like writing a book with your husband. Oh my God. I do not have the aspirations to write a book, but reading a book with your husband, that would already be great. But if you've seen my latest reading vlog, you know that I was watching this, watching this, I was reading this. As you may notice, my brain is kind of like done for today. So I'm currently on page 324 and it is around 360 pages. Plus there is a bonus chapter in this edition. And I got gifted this book by um, Brit from Basically Brit about a year ago when we did like a mystery book book haul together and the first book that she got me I really disliked and at the beginning of this I was kind of like not loving it as well so she was really scared that I was gonna hate this book too but I'm not I'm not hating it I'm really quite enjoying it I cannot remember the last YA contemporary in which I really enjoyed the romance <laughs> and with this one I do so it's pleasantly surprising I only have 40 pages left and I'm gonna devour those and then I will give my final verdict I just finished, if I'm being honest. And I think I would, <laughs> why did I do this? I think I would give it a three and a half out of five stars. Like it was a solid YA contemporary and I really liked the person that Cameron ended up with in this story. But what will I be reading next? I'm still actually reading Hollow Pox by Jessica Townsend, but I haven't really continued on with it. I don't know why, but at the moment I'm just not really feeling this, but I did make like a set TBR for March and I have a feeling that I want to read My Lady Jane Next by Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows. I never read historical fiction, so this is definitely something that is outside of my comfort zone. And what it says here, I think you have 
three perspectives. Edward, long live the king, is the king of England. He's also dying, which is inconvenient as he's only 16 and he'd much rather be planning for his first kiss than considering who will inherit his crown. Jane, reads too many books, is Edward's cousin and far more interested in books than in romance. Unfortunately for Jane, Edward has arranged to marry her off to secure the line of succession, and there's something a little odd about her intended. Gifford, call him G, is a horse, that is, he's Edian. Eth Ethian for the uninitiated, that's what it says here. Every day at dawn, he becomes a noble chestnut steed, but then he wakes at dusk with a mouthful of hay. It's all very undignified. <laughs> I didn't know there was like a perspective of a horse person in this book, but that's so cool. The plot thickens as Edward, Jane, and G are drawn into a dangerous conspiracy. With the fate of the kingdom at stake, our heroes will have to engage in some conspiring of their own. But can they pull off their plan before it's off with their heads? And look, there's a little horse on the hardcover. I don't know anything about like the English monarchy and right, that's what's going on with Edward and Jane. So I'm gonna look up some like history videos on YouTube to get to know a little bit more about like the real history that went on back in the day. And then I'm gonna start reading this book. It is quite a big book. It's almost 500 pages, but I am honestly really excited and have heard amazing things about this book. Also, this book has deckled edges. I don't know if you can see. Look at that. I never read books with deckled edges, but I think it looks really cool. So I'm gonna start reading this book today. And besides that, do I have any other plans? Not really. I'm gonna take a shower in a little bit. That's exciting. <laughs> but uh, I will talk to you later. Bye. Good morning. Today it is March 23rd. Yes, I had to think about that for some reason. And it is just a little past 12 o'clock in the afternoon. My neck is hurting already because I have been drawing a little bit on my iPad today as well. I want to create a really cool vinyl sticker with perhaps a holographic effect of this like girl reading in space situation. But whenever it comes to like character drawing, I'm so critical of whatever I draw. So with this one, I'm not really content with how it's turning out until so far. Like I am not opposed to it, but I'm not loving it. I do think like the concept is really cool, but I'll just have to figure out and see what I will think of it. But I think for now, I'm gonna go on a little walk because it is really pretty outside. <laughs> and like my neck needs a rest because it's like stiff already. <laughs> and then after the walk, I will give you a little update on where I am with my Lady Jane and what I'm thinking of it. Spoiler alert, it's hilarious. <laughs> okay, it's a little later in the afternoon and I promise you an update. I, by the way, I've been feeling like I'm in such a filming slump, uh, especially for sit-down videos. With my sit-down videos, I'm like, what the hell should I film? But um, that's something for future Sabim <laughs> to figure out. Um, I am currently on page 109, chapter eight of My Lady Jane and oh my God. <laughs> It is so entertaining. I mean, I've heard from a lot of people how hilarious it is and how funny. And I mean, that definitely intrigued me, but finding out that it actually is those things makes me really happy. I'm really enjoying it, especially the writing style. I don't feel like a connection to any of the characters, but it's mostly the writing style and kind of the ridiculousness of the story that's getting me through it. And then, in the meantime of filming this reading vlog, I had some back and forth communication with a quote unquote possible partner for a sponsorship, and I found out that I was being scammed. So, here is me after finding out just that, and it is chaotic, but <laughs> I hope you find it somewhat entertaining. Oh my god. Can everything go wrong in one day? I guess it can. You guys, it's um, the next day, and I've been feeling so anxious because this afternoon they try to hack into my gmail account that i use for youtube again and it's just like these mother they have scammed me 
into this sponsorship thing, which didn't happen, which is already like a shame, but then they are actively trying to get into my Gmail account and I hope like until so far it hasn't been successful, but it's just like, it's stressing me out. Like so much, it's making me feel so anxious because right now I also do not want to like edit something on my laptop because I'm just so scared that they will like, I don't know what they can do, but it's just, it's not making me feel nice. But besides that, I do have some fun things. Today I went to Ikea, so let's just try to make me feel a little bit more happy and show you all the things that I got from it because I got some cute stuff and very exciting. I'm so happy that this happened before I got my new laptop because I just bought myself a MacBook Air, so I'm happy that all these scamming things whatever happened on my old laptop, but I just do not dare to transfer any of my files from my old laptop to my new one, and it's just kind of freaking me out. Let's show you all the plants and pots and just everything that I bought at Ikea because I have been waiting to buy all these things for so long. Right now you could like order the things and then you could pick it up at like your closest Ikea location. So first of all, <laughs> I bought this little vase thing and fake flowers because I've had some real flowers standing on my little book cart for a little while, but those flowers have been falling out and it's making a mess. So I thought that this would be a really cute replacement. The thing why I actually wanted to get products from Ikea was this little, how do you call that in English? Water sprinkler thing? I will just show you what it is instead of trying to describe it. Since lockdown, I've been trying to take care of my plants and I have been successful and less successful at the same time. So I wanted to have a good watering can and look at this cute one on Ikea. It was like eight euros and nowhere I could find like a semi cheap option that also looked cute. Okay, so I already had this pepper ammonia plant, but it didn't fit in the previous pot that I already had. But now I have such a cute one. I mean, look at this. It's like a plant inside of a plant pot. I think it looks like a little flower and it's so cute. I love it so much. And then I got a new little plant. They sold real plants on the website again and I was looking for that. My camera battery is dying. Okay, got a new pot. I have another pot with a little scented candle and I thought I could use the glass afterwards as a little plant container as well. Then I have two fake hanging plants which I am so excited about because it looks so cute and I think it's gonna look really great in the background of my videos and I just love the look of these. I have these really cute LED lights again that you can put inside of your socket which I rarely see because I just don't want to have these working on batteries so that's great to put on my bedside. I have this golden little hanging frame then I have these collage frames too. A little stand for my phone like if I'm charging it I can like set it up somewhere and then lastly I have this plant spray thingy okay I did the haul my camera is dying goodbye <laughs> Then we also had a really cute FaceTime session with some of my Dutch booktuber friends. And in the meantime, I got my nose pierced in Rotterdam, so I had to visit one of my besties, Leora, from Books with Leo. Look at this cutie pie over here. And she also bought some books for my birthday at Dollar, my favorite bookstore. Good morning, you guys. Today, it is April 5th. Am I correct? Oh my God, I don't even know which date it is. No, it's April 4th and it's been a long time since I've given you an update, which always happens with me and reading vlogs that I just like forget to vlog for a couple of days and then I'm just like, oh hi, I'm still alive. I'm gonna do my makeup right now because today is a very exciting day. Also, I haven't even given you an update with my nose piercing because I got a nose piercing. But I got that done last week in Rotterdam at Queen of Rings. I am really happy with my piercing, but today I'm gonna get a second tattoo. I have been thinking about getting a new tattoo for one year, maybe a little longer right now. And it's really funny because I've heard it before that if you get one tattoo, it will be kind of inevitable that you will get a second one. And well, that's the case for me. I wanna get a ladybug 
on my arm right here first of all because i think ladybugs are really cute <laughs> but also to kind of wish myself good luck and i came up with this little idea of getting a ladybug back in my second year of biomedical sciences because i was having a rough time but i'm getting a hand poked tattoo so this is by hand and not with a machine so i'm very curious to see if it will hurt more or the same or less because i've heard mixed opinions on that but for right now i'm gonna do my makeup and then i'm gonna give you a little reading update because i finished my lady jane this 500 page chunk of a book and um this <laughs> is my currently reading pile and i'd like to talk about all of them so let's see if i can do that before i need to get my tattoo or if that will happen afterwards or tomorrow i don't know yet <laughs> i am so good at estimating <laughs> when i'm gonna vlog things because i didn't film me getting my tattoo but it was such a wonderful experience look at my little buddy over here look at that it's so cute i am honestly obsessed with my new tattoo <laughs> and lara the one who did this tattoo on my arm is called plant poked on instagram so definitely go check out her page i love it so much <laughs> immediately like right now i want to get little butterflies maybe like on the top of my arm right here and just collect little cute bugs on my arm i'm just obsessed with this little ladybug i'm so happy today i don't have a lot of plans i'm just gonna try and read a lot because i have some catching up to do since i have a live show on saturday so i'm gonna like give you guys my thoughts on my most recent recent read which is my lady jane if it weren't for me playing gavin's from how to train your gavin's game i probably wouldn't have picked up this book for a long time because this is kind of like outside of my genre comfort zone it is a historical ya fantasy dare i say like it is in an alternative england in which people can also change into humans sometimes and then you are called an ethian and there's kind of like a divide between the english people between the ethians who can change into animals and regular human beings which were called verities and it was so much fun you felt that the authors kind of like wrote this story in a very sarcastic way. Like they were not taking themselves too seriously with it, but it was so much fun. And I was hooked from the beginning, but I just love the way that it was written. I loved all the little jokes and how just weird this story was, but it was also super adventurous. So for me, I think on Goodreads, I gave it a five out of five, but if I would give a little bit more of like a nuanced opinion, I'd say like a four and a half out of five stars, because in the beginning I was just like, oh my God, I need to consume everything and also the audiobook is really great and if you use my personal script link we both get an extra month of free audiobook so if you want to use my link it's in the description box down below but the audiobook was really great as well the narrator did such amazing accents it was so good and it's one of my new favorites of this year so shame on me for not having read this book sooner so now let's go on to my currently reading stack and it has never been this big in a long time it's three books so first of all i'm reading the language of thorns by lee bardugo in preparation for shadow and bone the show that's coming out on netflix on april 23rd i wanted to read all of the stories that i owned that took place in the grishaverse and this is the last one that i have but these are five or six little fairy tales that take place in the grishaverse and i've read two until so far and i am enjoying them more than i thought i would especially the first story so i'm eager to read the other four this one is about 280 pages so it's not too big then oh my god this is the book that i actually like want to read constantly right now but because i have to read a book for a live show i can't and it's making me feel a little bit like as if i'm in a reading slump which sucks <laughs> and that is the seven husbands of evelyn hugo i'm doing a dedicated taylor jenkins read reading vlog so keep your eye out for that in preparation of reading my arc of malibu rising oh my gosh so excited and then the one that i should be reading right now and that i will be reading is hollow pox the hunt for morgan crow by jessica townsend it's not as if i'm not enjoying this book but i just want to read the seven husbands so badly i am 110 pages in and at that moment i was just not really like fully getting into it hopefully i'll be able to dive more into it because this one is almost 500 pages and i have five days to read it and you all know i'm a slow reader so <laughs> that's perfect <laughs>
You guys, I just received my new bookmarks. Oh my god, I'm very excited to unbox them live with you guys. See my first initial reaction. I also received my stickers that I made as well yesterday. So the products are slowly getting here at my place and I'm so excited to make like product photos of them to finally update my Etsy. These, as you can see, are holographic stickers but I want you to see the design as well. It is a girl holding a book being surrounded by stars and planets and whatever and I thought that the background being holographic would just look so beautiful and give off that like space feeling really well. So you can just put this like on your phone, on your journal, use it wherever you want, even on your laptop if you'd like to. I think it is so stunning and I love the holographic effect so much. But right now we are gonna open my new thick paper round bookmarks. Well, not round, but like rounded quarters. <laughs> Imagine just having a circle as a bookmark. Okay, so I don't know which one is in here, but let's have a look at how they turned out. Oh, they packaged it really, really well. Oh my god, oh my god! Oh my god, they turned out so perfect! I am honestly obsessed. Wow, they feel super sturdy and they look really nice! It has turned out exactly the way that I wanted them to turn out. So, this is the first bookmark that I have to show you guys. This is a bookshelf with a ton of detail in this one. You don't know how many hours I spend working on this design. Spoiler alert, it's a lot. <laughs> and I think it turned out so beautifully. And then on the back we have my little logo. I mean, look at these babies. So they are light green. Like I said, they have a lot of details in the books. Okay, so my mom just came inside and she was wondering like how the bookmarks looked as well. So I didn't do like a live unboxing for the other one, but I don't know which one I love more because these are so pretty as well. And this bookmark is a lilac background and then it has the covers of some very popular books on them. I have read three of the books that are on this bookmark and Get a Life, Chloe Brown and Legendborn are definitely on my TBR as well. I've heard so many amazing things about those but I thought I'd put a book on here that probably everyone has loved. I love the look of this bookmark as well and then the idea is I have some blue and white tassels. I only have very limited quantities available of those tassels so if you want want to get them, I think you need to be quick. But if they do really well, I of course will be ordering some more tassels so that I will be able to like restock tasseled bookmarks once they sell out. I'm obsessed <laughs> with my own products. Honestly, I'm so happy with them. If you want to support me, my channel, and get yourself some beautiful bookmarks, um, of course check out the link in the description box down below. I will have more bookmarks coming in the mail soon and ah, I'm so happy. <laughs> Hi guys, it is April 10th, two <laughs> exciting things are happening today. First of all, in like three and a half hours, I'm going to have the live show for Holopox. I have been reading this book throughout the whole week and have been enjoying it overall, but because Holopox has like a virus thing going on in it, that's like not my favorite thing to read about at the moment. So I'm not enjoying it as much as book two, Wondersmith, but I only need to read 30 more pages and then I finished it just in time for the live show. Like this time, I really tried to squeeze it in last moment. But the most exciting thing is that the other bookmarks that I created have arrived and I'm very nervous to see how they turned out because these have like different effects. One has like a rainbow foil effect and the other one has gold foil. So I'm nervous to see how they turned out but again I'm gonna like do a little live reaction for you guys. <laughs> I am especially really curious to see how the A Court of Thorns and Roses bookmark turned out because that one has the rainbow foil and everyone was super enthusiastic when they saw the design on my Instagram. Okay let's just open it together. I also don't know which one I am opening right now. The anticipation is real. <laughs> so much paper. Okay, this is the Akatara one with the rainbow foil. I am scared. Okay, here we go. <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> that is beyond cool. Okay, I will show you. But if you look at it in one angle, it looks like silver foil. So that is already really cool. But then if you turn it around, you see like a rainbow effect. It's kind of like if you're looking at a CD, you know, that is kind of 
what this looks like. It is so pretty. Okay, let's focus on the bookmark. First of all, I think I created a beautiful design with really nice hand lettering. Oh my god, look, now it looks silver, but if you turn it around, it has like that rainbow effect. And if you see it in real life, it looks even more beautiful. The detail on it is insane because I did a lot of tiny effects in the hand as well because this is supposed to be Feyre's hand because she has like a tattoo on it. And then this is supposed to be Rhysand, Rhysand, them reaching out to each other. And then I wrote down the quote, to the people who look at the stars and wish, because I think that's a beautiful quote. And like I said, the details, like the foiling in the hand, it looks perfect. Okay, and now let's open the other package, which is also nice, but I feel like that one is the crown piece, the jewel, crown jewel of this uh, new Etsy update. Here we go, the sun and moon design with gold foil. Ah, oh, yes, I love how this one turned out. And you can still see the quote with the gold effect really well so here we have the other bookmark with the gold effect oh so this one says the sun moon and stars will guide you and then as you guys can see the sun moon and stars is also with the gold foil and then in the sun i put like the effect on some of the rays and like its little cheeks and then with the moon as well and then like some of the little stars in the galaxy also have that gold effect I think it is really pretty. I really love this bookmark as well. It's so cute. These two items are, I don't know if I'm the most proud of because there's another item coming in in like a couple of days, which I'm so happy with as well. But just like that like foiled effect, oh, it is just so cool. I'm wearing the same sweater, but I swear to you, it's been a couple of days since I filmed that last little like bookmark. Etsy update, but I have received the final product that will be added to my Etsy shop and I am just so happy with it. Oh my god, I keep saying the same things. I am very enthusiastic, <laughs> which is a notebook, dark academia inspired. This is my own notebook. I have claimed it a little bit, so it's already looking a little bit dirty on the front cover. Don't mind that. It is a hardcover A5 notebook and the cover itself feels super velvety in a red color. And I made a dark academia inspired design. Let me flip the camera so you guys can see what the design looks like and how the inside with like the lined paper and everything is. So this is the dark academia design a nice little book a globe some plants ink pots a statue a handwritten letter and when we open it it has this like i don't even know what you call this like an elastic and it has a little bookmark inside of it and i have already written down a little page so yeah it is lined paper and i am really excited about this product. It's something different. It was a really big investment, but I hope that you will like it as well. And now let me wrap up this reading vlog for you guys. I hope that you will check out my Etsy shop update. I will be putting all the items in my shop on April 21st, 8 p.m. Central European time. So please go and support my shop, support my channel, support me, and get yourself some nice bookmarks, notebooks, stickers. It is available in my Etsy shop in just a couple of days. It is Sunday the 11th of April. I'm gonna close off this reading vlog right here and give you guys the final update on the three books that I was mainly reading in this vlog. Well actually I was also reading two other books now that I saw the footage back but I finished those. These are the ones that I am currently reading, was currently reading. So I finished Hollow Pox, the third book in the Nevermore series yesterday, right before the live show. And the live show was amazing. You can watch it back on my channel. We had so much fun and it was a really wonderful discussion. I think I gave it four out of five stars. I highly enjoyed it, but it was a lot darker than the first two books in the series. So it was a little bit of like a different vibe and I preferred the vibe of the first two ones. So that's why I'm giving it, I think a little bit of a lower rating. I'm also still currently reading The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, but I've made huge progress in that book this week. I am on page 295, and will I finish it tonight? I don't know. I have less than 100 pages to go, and I'm gonna read some in this book right now because I'm just like so excited to get further into it, and then I'm still on the same page of The Language of Thorns, which is on page 
79. I haven't continued on with reading any more stories, but I just want to read Taylor Jenkins read right now. And that's all I will be reading for the next upcoming week. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching this reading vlog. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or in the button down below. And hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!